The Acropolis Museum is consistently rated as one of the best museums in the world. Devoted to the Parthenon and the surrounding temple, it's cleverly approached that the patterns like a luminous box. The large glass paints beautifully draw in the ancient and modern parts of the city, making it a truly evocative experience. Designed by the local Greek architect Michael Portiagis, is a big sanctuary for the artifacts found in and around the Acropolis. It successfully deconstructs how the Parthenon sculptures once looked to the citizens of ancient Athens. The top floor of the museum is designed on the same axis as the Parthenon, so that it has the identical cardinal orientation. Additionally, it has the same dimensions to display the entire frieze of the temple, exactly as it would have been in ancient times. As you make your way around, it's as if you are walking around the core of the Patreon. The three basic components of the Parthenon are the uh, pediments, east and west, the metops and the frieze. In the center of the Parthenon gallery, on the third floor, the visitor can observe a video presentation about the Parthenon and the sculptural decoration of the monument. In the same area are presented ancient marble inscriptions recording in detail, coast record of the construction of the Parthenon and the statue of Athens Parthenon. As a result, visitors are informed on how democratic body functioned in the 5th century BC. The Greek Panathena is the greatest festival of the city in the honor of the goddess Athena. It took place every four years and lasted 12 days. There were ritual, sacrifices, athletic and musical contests. The festivals culminated on the 28th day of the month on Athena's birthday. On that day, the procession advanced to the temple of Athenapolis. This procession unfolds 160 meters of continuous sculptural decoration of Parthenon frieze. The frieze consisted of 115 blocks. It had a total length of 160 meters and a height of 1.2 meters. It had human figures, animals, deities, chariots, mostly horses. 50 meters of this frieze is in a post museum. 80 meters of it is in British Museum. Other fragments are in different museums in Palermo, the Vatican, Würzburg, Vienna, Munich and Copenhagen. On the first floor you will find five caryatids, the original maiders that once held up the roof of the southern ports of the Erechthon, considered the most sacred part of the Acropolis. They were removed in 1979 in order to protect them from the elements. Intricately detailed and hand carved from Parian marble, each caryatid is unique in their depiction and stands 7 feet 7 inches tall. A place remains vacant for the sixth caryatid in the hope that someday she will rejoin her sisters. She is currently held in London at British Museum. <laughs> Some of the most significant exhibits can be found in the Gallery of the Sloops. In this gallery you will see significant findings discovered in the sanctuaries that were built of the slopes of the Acropolis. This gallery, which is located on the ground floor, also houses exhibits that were used by ancient Athenians in their daily activities. It's one of the most visited galleries in the whole museum. In classical architecture, Metope is a rectangular architectural element. There were originally 92 Parthenon metops, 14 on the east and west sides and 32 on the others. They are dated from about 4, 446 to 440 BC and are attributed to a sculptor named Calamis. 
The metopes on each of the four sides of the Parthenon depict a different mythical battle or war and contains two images. <coughs> the metopes were made by several artists, but the master builder was Fides.